she feels today right 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 i do sleeping yes i do (laughs) welcome to the show and the sean and the cute crew cute crew right here on e3 radio your number one stop for queer radio done right Mm -hmm. shot town all day i can't see my hat but it's a product of chicago so what what they probably see right now is your uh your nighttime hat yeah Mm -hmm. i ain't gonna lie I'm tired. Right. What's going on, people? We are, it's pre-Friday, and the turn up is not real. <laughs> you see, we turned down like a month. This is right. really cute, actually. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. These filters crack me up. Uh, family, we happy to be with y'all tonight. We're doing hot topics tonight. Yes, yeah, so the show is going to be real light, and we really want you guys to kind of participate. What are you doing? We want you guys to participate. What did you do? Oh, I like this one. We look cute. We'll stick with this one. Oh, my goodness. We cool as hell. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We want you guys to participate tonight, um, if at all possible. Of course, feel free to type in um, on the live feed. Give us your questions and your feedback and let us know how you guys are feeling. How you doing out there, sis? I see you. I see you. Yeah, tonight's uh, show is really about the topics that are going on in the world. We uh, we kind of got to talk about this, people. It's, you know, what the hell is going on in the city of Shy? Man, there's a lot of shit going on. More like in Rosemont. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Talking about the Kanika Jenkins story. You know, we always start the show with the What's the Tea. written like my radio wife was saying. This whole show is What's the Tea tonight. And this story is sad as hell. What happened to this young lady who was uh, celebrating a birthday, yo? Is this... Oh, it was her birthday? I thought she was just attending a party. I guess it was somebody's birthday, not her birthday. Okay. It was a party. It was somebody's birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, so 19 years old, you know? So they said that the activist, what did you say, Larry Holmes? Andrew Holmes. Oh, Andrew Holmes. I don't know why. The man that to me resembles Muhammad Ali. Yes, <laughs> we'll say. Um, so he and the mother today reviewed the tape and upon reviewing the tape they noticed that um, she went into the freezer on her own I'm still really really not buying that I really can't wait for the autopsy and I know it takes a while but for them to get the results from the autopsy my question is can't they rush that yeah the they filters. probably can <laughs> I said the filters yeah the filters right. homie right yeah yeah Right. Um, so my question is, oh my Jesus, my question is, can't they expedite a autopsy? Um, I mean, like on CSI, I don't know how it works. No, but I'm life. just, I'm saying, then when they did Prince, and I know he is of celebrity status, and when right. they did Michael Jackson, and I know he is of celebrity status. Right. You can't compare it, none of them people. But I'm just saying, it didn't take months for an autopsy. Oh, okay, so. Uh, Andrea said it takes at least three weeks tops. Right, and it just happened. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm saying they can't they can't expedite the three weeks. I mean, I honestly feel like she might have been. I don't know. I don't know. I know they re- re- reviewed the tape and they said that you know she walked into the cooler um, on her own. Yeah. But that was a big walk-in cooler, wasn't it? I don't know. They say, well, first off, they so I wouldn't even have believed it if Andrew Holmes didn't say it, right? So we know Andrew Holmes has been around the community for a long time, been mm-hmm. a community actor for mm-hmm. a very long time. And he was there with the family. The family agreed to him to be in the room to view the tapes. And uh, that's what they, he said he didn't see anybody else around in the tapes and that, um, she definitely opened up the freezer on her own and walked in. You know what I mean? What I've done once. It's crazy. 
Uh, but it with is. that being said, what was she taking? Yeah, that's what that's, else happened in the room. Absolutely. There's been allegations about alleged rape, like people turning up the music in the room, and um, you know, friends not being friends. Like how somebody just walk off and you don't know where they at. Like, um, I know where my friends are at when we go party. Yep. I know I mean, we gotta at. keep up with each other. Like, I don't understand. So what's up, Ray? Hey, sister. I think it's a real sad ass story. It I mean, is. this young lady was nineteen. Seemed like you know maybe she had some stuff going for her, and it, well, she just, did her whole entire life um, yeah. that she had going for her. Yeah. Um, I think. That, well, I don't think I know. There, there is more to this story. Give us hearts, everybody. Um, there is more to the story, and we are going to. Stay tuned to find out if anybody else knows anything else pertaining to the story, then uh, please let us know. Um, but that was the last update that we heard. Um, from my understanding, the mother has not come out to say anything. When she said they was at a party, I think bad decision was made. And unfortunately, she died in the end, Ma. Okay. Yeah, I think, I yeah. Mean, I mean, I think that's what happened too. And I think that, um, I think when that mother probably saw that videotape, she probably didn't know what to do with herself. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I can't I'm sure. I'm sure she probably did. Probably distraught as hell. I'm pretty sure she did about that. You know? And I think that, like always, the police never handle things well right away. They right? They want to follow procedures, and those procedures take a long time. And sometimes communication ain't right. They ain't right. We already don't trust the popo. So what you know, up, not sister? being clear, not being transparent there was allegations like they're supposed to watch the tape another day and then that fell through and yeah. then all of this stuff and um <laughs> i don't know if he always been the rosemont hotel like the crown plaza spokesperson but they hired a black spokesperson <laughs> this black guy um i used to work out in that area yeah. um and for the most part it it was always um for me you know and maybe it's different being a man but for me it was always i never had any issues any problems um so what you say? I personally don't believe she just walked into into the cooler. Those type of coolers either take strength to open, and there's normally a button to press to open. It's a very sad story. I agree. What else they said was that after the investigation, they're actually going to release all of the footage for people to the public to see after the investigation is over. And during this investigation, they're going to allow the family to see the other like 39 hours of footage mm -hmm. from like. 30 or 40 cameras that's in this hotel mm -hmm. so that they can see all of it themselves. Right. Um, um, but Andrea says yeah. it, it was, it will, I will say this, the hotel is at some fall. However, they did offer to pay for the funeral. Um, but that area should have been unable to be used by patrons of who's now. Here's my question. Agreed. Here's my question. And I've worked at a hotel, um, at, at, at the front desk. So here's my question. There are, my question is, how in the hell did she get there yeah. to get towards there? Because you have to go through things like the coolers are in, in the back of the house. They really are. So mm -hmm. it's not very accessible to the public to get to. Um, now, granted, I worked at a Marriott. So, but for, for us, you had to know where certain things were. You had to continuously wander or you had to have an inside person that was able to tell you about this because it's not like it is visible. Yeah. Um, right then and there. That's in, and literally in the back of the house um, of the hotel in itself. And even for something like the Crown Point, that's in the back of the hotel. That's not right there in the front. That's not like, you know, Motel 6 or Holiday right. Inn where it's, you know, it's right there. Yeah. Agreed. So, so they, she had to have had some kind of knowledge of something or where it was to know exactly where to go. And at the end of the day, right, the hotel will be at fault to an extent. I think the family probably will file some type of civil lawsuit. When you have that much noise going on, all right, it is on them to investigate what's going on in that room, disturbance to other rooms on that floor. Now, and here's the everybody thing. in there, of course, 121, True. drinking, turning up, drugs, and I'm smoking pretty sure, weed. And I'm pretty That's sure. Stank. I'm pretty it's sure. Stank. It's it good, does. but it's stank. I'm pretty sure that the investigation will probably prove that somebody complained. Right. And somebody the, somebody complained, right. and security probably did go there. And guess what? You, probably, you can cut the music down. Um, have, have everybody. They're not going to go all the way in the room. The smoking, that's, that's stink. We, we, well, we smell good. But for others, it's stink. Also, this young lady walking around 
uh, the hotel, stumbling around, you know, n no red flags. I just think that. Right, okay, what did she say? Uh, Nikki said, the picture I've seen of those coolers is a sliding door cooler, and I know those coolers is string you pull to open. Str I mean, what did you say? Mm -hmm. It's a string you pull to open. Goodness knows what kind of what yeah. kind of cooler this was. You know what I'm saying? Andrew Holmes is a reliable source of information. Mm -hmm. So, whatever he saw in that video meant something. Um, the mother didn't make a statement after watching those videos. He made the statement. Right. So I think we'll wait to hear from the mother, from the family, to hear what they got to say. And eventually, they are going to release the videos for oh. everybody to see. And uh. What Andrea said, they did. They went to the room several times for complaints. Yeah. Um, at that point, you probably should have uh, eliminated the people. Um, but for hotels, unfortunately, it is about money. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much the 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 hotel will more than likely settle. Um, but she said there was a demonstration from YouTube that the cook did. That was not from the, from Crown Point. Oh, and DJ said the cooler was plugged up. It wasn't out of order. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I'm seeing that we are seeing more stories. I mean, more. I think there's a lot of storylines. More, more and information. And there's a lot of stuff on Facebook, social media. It's all convoluted. In the day, they need to have a, a really thorough investigation done. Probably somebody from the outside needs to take it. But it, we'll it, see. Does, it, it does. It takes money to do a lot of this stuff, right? So you're talking about this sister, um, on the city in the city of Chicago. Who knows what her means are, but maybe a lawyer doing some work pro bono to try to get to the bottom of it. I think the autopsy is going to tell us a lot of the story, it too. Is. Um, and hopefully some of this footage fills in some missing pieces for the family. I mean, you ain't never going to be at peace. Ain't you won't. Ain't going to make right. you feel better about you any won't. of this. So. You won't. And I know the sister is probably, you know, feeling like, hey, I need to get some kind of revenge on somebody because somebody knows something. Yeah, especially the people that she was hanging with. So and our, they've, they've interviewed most of those folks that was in the room. I think there's like four or five people outstanding that they haven't interviewed, but they've interviewed the majority of the people that were partying that night. Hmm. Uh, Andrea says, I, I agree. Uh, uh, once the activist said what he saw, I believe what yeah. he said. Yeah. And then uh, what uh, DJ said, I don't trust her best friend. I don't oh. trust none of them friends. Mm -mm. Nah. Cause ain't no friend gonna let you just wander off after you've been just drinking and fucked up and having a like the turn up. Man, I remember one turn up. Man, one turn up when I was too young to be turned up. I will never, <laughs> ever drink absolutely again. It is the devil. <laughs> My, they said I went and uh, tried to jump out the car. I was praying this outside of a church. I peed on myself. <laughs> My friends, they didn't leave me. Lord. <laughs> What a no, night. They didn't leave you. They laughed at you. They Probably laughed at me. They tried, to, they tried to they had to clean up my clothes for my mama. Then drop me off at my mama's house and told me I stayed at my friend's house. <laughs> it was jacked up and I was in high school. My friends didn't leave me. Nah, that they, ain't what friends do. Nah, they laughed like, at me. I don't care you. how they laughed at me. They talked about me. We talked about the story. If I was to ever be around them all at the same time again, this would be a story that would come up. Because it was completely out of character. It was crazy. They looked up and I had drank the whole bottle absolute. Like the whole bottle. So it wasn't the absolute that was the devil in itself. It was, it the, was the devil. It was the amount of consumption that absolute you had. Absolute is the devil. No, it's the con amount of consumption of liquor. You have you ever seen me drink absolute? Uh, first of all, that was too much. Seen, have you ever seen me drink absolute? That was too much. I if never you, drink if it If you again. drink, if anybody have seen a whole bottle of absolute, <laughs> that is just, that is fucking foolery. You would not do that. Nope. You could have honestly gotten alcohol poisoning. Shit. That's why I was praying outside of this church. That's what they had said. I don't remember, but that's what they had oh, said. What did Ryan say? <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Don't be blocking people. This oh, lady God. and this big old, ah, her big old fans. Ah, ah, what are you talking about? Somebody has said something. Thank you, man. Jovan, you feel me? It's the devil. It's not the devil. I'm telling too you. Much, too much of anything is not good. You right. Uh, Especially not, absolute. Mm -mm, that has nothing under to do. 21. Right. Lord. I'm so glad my friend took care of me that night. Uh, <laughs> Real friends. What? <laughs> Hell. Uh, uh, the shenanigans. Uh, uh, somebody. <laughs> Wait, they told you to turn the Q crew down. Tell them to go ahead and move around. Move. Itch. 
Get out the way. What you? We ain't censored. You could have said bitch. I don't really say that though. Oh well, I do. Go move, ahead. bitch. Get out the way. This ain't. Get, tell them to move. That's what move she the said. fuck around. You should just be enjoying us. What you got to say about the story? I know you got an opinion, right? Shit. But friends, how many of us have them? Friends, the ones you can't depend on. Friends. Oh my God! Here we go. I mean, here we go. It's the real deal. <laughs> so, okay, let's uh, let's move past that story. I, unfortunately, I don't, I don't even know how you can transition from that story. You can't, but, man. But we have to. We gotta pray for them fam for the right. family. So our hearts and prayers go out to the family. Um, we about to go to a break. We gotta play one of these songs. That's why the show do. gonna be over. Yeah, we do. Our music director put together some really good songs. Yeah. We're halfway through the show. What she said? You know, I don't have a feel time. <laughs> what? Uh -uh. We got some music to play for y'all. Right, we got some up and coming music. That's wonderful. I don't know what the hell this sounds like, but our music director's pretty right. dope. I don't know what so we're like about either. to find out. It's right. called The Knox, Kiss the Sky. Yeah, you're going to find out when we find out. Let's see. Anna Deshaun and the Q Crew. Q Crew. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> the show family and the shine the cute crew cute crew what up all right y'all we're doing a short show tonight because uh it's just me and b and mm -hmm. that's what we decided to do mm -hmm. but next week we got the medical marijuana folks coming on the show we're gonna talk about that legal marijuana we're gonna talk about that cannabis spot that opened up on 85th and commercial what you know i didn't know that 85th and commercial we're going to be up here like, on the south side, they got a marijuana spot. That's how we're going to be next Medical Thursday. Marijuana. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we're going to be high. So don't miss us next week. We're going to be talking about that. Cannabis. And all the good things it can do. <laughs> oh, yeah. But tonight, we got another what's the tea. Yes, we do. Which one you want to talk about? Let's talk about this. Uh, 
the sugar tax. Oh, man, it's sugar tax. Right. So I don't know if you guys know, they uh, had did a, uh, I guess, a campaign that happened, what's today? Thursday. Uh-huh. <laughs> happened, <laughs> happened yesterday where um, a few of the senators were trying to, and aldermen were trying to repeal the uh, sugar tax. Uh, so with that... What? Uh, uh, <laughs> called the try to repeal the uh, sugar tax. Well, the judge did not find enough evidence or enough reason why the sugar tax should be repealed. Mm. So they postponed that mm -hmm. to October the 11th to hear more evidence on why the sugar, there should be no sugar tax. So this is your opportunity. If you don't want to drink taxed, an additional tax, they're asking the public to come down to the forum, to the public hearing, and have your voice, man, heard. First off, I just want y'all to know that this whole health thing, you see y'all got the all them black doctors up on them commercials about that sugar tax? That's bullshit. It is. It's bullshit. It is. And if you buy now, into it, then is that's... Is it bullshit yeah. that you shouldn't be taking all that sugar in? No. Is it true that sugar is bad for you? Yes. But so is everything else. But why are you regulating what I'm taking in? Just say you want to raise a damn tax. Right. Just say you want to put a tax on the sugar because we ain't got no money in this state and everybody in debt and our governor was an idiot and didn't give us a budget for like two years, didn't sign on a the budget. They couldn't, they couldn't come to any compromise. So just say you want to tax the sugar. Don't, don't like try to put this whole health on You say on it that. should be taxed. Why? It should. It, it don't. It just don't. Why should it be taxed? Just say. Them? Just say. Don't need the money. Here, here's the thing. That's it. Don't lie and say that this sugar tax will help decrease diabetes because that's bullshit. It's not. There are so many things. There's so many other things that's out there pertaining to health. This this sugar tax is not just is not the culprit. We got cigarettes. You know, people out here smoking that ain't cigarettes. Bother your diabetes. Well, it, but it'll cause lung cancer. But I mean, I mean, there's other shit that's out here I that know. that that will cause that. What they're saying is sugar causes obesity. It's not the only thing that causes obesity. Overeating causes obesity. So don't don't just blame that on that. It is what is. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to say thank God I drink That's water. That's how I feel, man. I'm glad I drink water, too. Well, here's, like, the, here's the thing. H2O in this bitch. Guess what? Cook County will wind up losing money because most people don't have a problem with driving to Indiana and still getting their sugary beverages or driving to Will County and getting their sugary beverages. They don't have a problem with that. Well, actually, folks don't care about buying it in the city. If they really want it, people are going to buy it. If you want a pop, you're going to go buy a pop. If you want juice boxes, you're just going to go buy juice boxes. Um, I think at the end of the day, they the state is broke. And so this was just a good way to well, tax people and get people's money. Well, here is, here's the here's problem, too, that will come into effect. So for all you people out there with SNAP, this will soon affect you as well. I know typically you're not supposed to pay taxes with SNAP. Well, they're also trying to throw that in there. So, with your SNAP benefits, you're going to be paying with this as well. Now, that's jacked up. So, <laughs> that's going to be included in, in into your SNAP benefits as you are trying to get these here sugary drinks. Man, sugary drinks. They just tax everything in Illinois. I just want y'all to know that. Everything is just, they just want to tax the whole, your whole life just as a tax. Right. You're going to exactly. put on a hat, you're going to have to pay a tax. Why? Because you're blocking the sun from getting to your skin to increase your melanin, and that's going to harm your body. Mm. <laughs> I just don't like anything, really, that regulates persons. Because once they start regulating things, like it's really hard to stop regulating. They'll start regulating stuff I don't need them to regulate. So, so I, I concur. Now, that's my thing with that. We're transitioning. We are? Yeah. Again. To what? So now we're going to talk about Irma. Now, this this Irma. We're going to talk about Irma. We got four minutes. So here's the thing. Irma, so I'm going to say this, and, and, and for you coffee drinkers like myself, Irma is fucking with us. Why? Because it has fucked with the crops. <laughs> Your coffee beans? The coffee up? beans are messed up, and then the areas of where some of the mm. coffee is being grown, there's not enough water. So the depletion of the coffee bean is coming soon. 
What? You still go to Dunkin' and get your coffee? I do, but I'm just saying it's gonna be it's gonna probably be higher tax. What's really sad is y'all heard about the, the old folks, home. the nursing home where the old folks died. Yeah, man, that's sad as hell. That is. So one guy, he was on the news saying that because he didn't have any power where he was, he didn't even know his mother had passed. Mm. The people had called him and was like, um, "Like, do you want to come get your mother's things?" And he was like, "Why?" Hey, sister. Like, why? They didn't even know. They hadn't even got notified that she had passed. Wow. And what's even more devastating is that the place across the street, a hospital, had air. They had air. Like, these people were negligent. Oh, like, wow. And the worst part, I think one of the worst parts now about Irma is not only the damage that it did, but the fact that because lots of folks still don't have any power, it means that a lot of people do not have air conditioning. Florida is one of the hottest places, one of the most humid places. Mm-hmm. And then the stench of dirty water, mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. places, it is awful conditions down there for them right now. And to be an older adult with limited ability, mobility, yes. mobility to go or to do anything, I mean, that's just like... That's like our nightmare. Isn't that like a, that's like your nightmare. Mm-hmm. That's like your nightmare. Man, it's crazy. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> said Facebook broke. Y'all done broke it. We broke it. We ain't broke it yet. Almost. Soon, my friend. <laughs> soon. <laughs> we ain't broke it. It's yet. like that church song. Soon and very soon. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Y'all know that song? Sing it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Family, there's a few minutes left in the show. Have you gotten your purple tie tickets? Have you gotten your wild tickets? Fourth annual purple tie affair, October the 5th, sidetrack, 7 p.m. Funds, benefit, proceeds are going to a long walk home. They do work like the last 13, 14 years with young black women and girls about sexual assault prevention, rape prevention, and using the arts to, and media to do that. They are a dope organization. We they need to are. give money to them. Yes, we the do. The goal is to raise $1,000 for them. After all the expenses and all that stuff, we've done it before. We can do it again. I just need y'all to get y'all tickets. Y'all need to get y'all tickets to the Purple Tie. And you, yep. for ladies, uh, you need to get your tickets for the WOW Conference, which is actually on Saturday. Thanks, man. Tell us stop hitting me, man. It ain't, it ain't uh, right. What you going to do? Don't want to. Get your tickets for the WOW Conference. It's actually this Saturday. <laughs> At the Lighthouse, um, the theme of the conference is She Is Wow. We have some dynamic speakers um, that will be there. Um, absolute, some dynamic speakers that will be there. We're serving a hot breakfast um, as well. So this is very, it's going to be very, very motivating, very, very empowering. So women, um, if you are interested, please hit me up on Facebook in my inbox and just let me know I have tickets available. Um, ticket cost is $35. But I tell you, you get so much more in value um, than what you're actually spending. Absolutely. 90 seconds. 90 seconds, family. That's what All we right. Have. What else is going on? Bonsai and Yep are partying tonight for his birthday, raising money for the organization we gave to Yep for the last Purple Tide yes, Fair. Much love to Bonsai for that. Mm-hmm. And then Toby Kali is going live at 10.30 p.m. on Facebook um, singing her new track, Problems mm-hmm. um, tonight, ten thirty. Um, Toby Kylie's Facebook page. Um, she is going to be one of the performers for the Purple Tie Affair. Dope French Quarter style, New Orleans, all day long. Um, also, you know, for the Purple Tie, if y'all remember Deborah from The Voice season three, we've locked her in to be one of the performers for VIP. So y'all know y'all want that VIP ticket. Absolutely. And then Armand, our favorite drag performer, Cleo Apocalypse, is going to be performing as well. We can't do a show without. We can't have a purple tie without a drag show. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a really good time. I hope y'all can come out and celebrate with us and have and help raise some money, party with a purpose. That's what we're doing. Absolutely. Right? We'll be back next week talking about cannabis. <sighs> yeah, and how it's good for you. 
I yeah. love happy shows. <laughs> all right, y'all. Tell tell somebody, tell a friend to tune in to enter the shine the Q crew, all right? Q crew. See you guys next Thursday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Hmm. Ten I seconds. like that. Bat channels. That's cool. <laughs> Laters. Peace, everybody. I think that's Thank all. you for using Blog Talk Radio. I think that, wait, oh man, I had to hit finish. Wait, I'm going. Bye.